highlight to end the week. I was late coming into a, our room here, so I really didn't have any kind of calls or highlights with respect to that. So I just want to give people something to think about over the weekend. And my group that's been with me a long time has have heard this thousands of times. And, and I learned it from a guy that was training floor traders back when there really wasn't computerized trading in the U.S. Wasn't much of it. It was talked about. But in the late 1990s, pit trading was the late 90s was still the way people traded, whether it was stocks at the NYSE uh, or CME with futures, Chicago Board of Trade, two major exchanges where people traded on the floor. There was like four packed trading floors back then. And one until 2000, 2001 and two did it start to go from the, the floor to the screen. In any event, I took these classes and it was basic, you know, intermediate advanced, but through all of them, the guy who ran it um, was wise in being in the business, was wise in explaining and articulating what was important. So he wasn't just someone who could educate, but he was someone who had got his hands dirty in the business, understood it. And he come in the beginning of each phase and said, second trade first. Know where you're getting out before you get in. And Essentially what that means is second trade first is it's not a separate trade. It's, Hey, if I'm going to buy it here, that's fine. That's my first trade or first execution, but what's my second, second trade first, know where you're getting out before you get in. So before you get long here and buy it there, you know where you're getting out. Namely for a loser. And it's very similar to a baseball player. Shortstop. Where am I going with it? Where am I going with it? I remember my dad telling me back when I was eight, nine years old, started playing. Always think about what are you going to do if the ball is hit to you? So many, this seems simple. And, and, and I always say simple is not basic. It is simple. But most people get caught up in the emotion of a trade even before they take it because they're getting close to taking it and they really, and, and then they might put a stop in. I say, well, I'm doing that, Anthony. I got my stop in, but maybe you move it or maybe you cancel it or maybe you add to it. And a lot of people that just put their stops in doesn't mean that that's automatically a good place to get out. Work on knowing where you're going to get out before you get in not just as an element of, oh, I'm only losing eight ticks. That's arbitrary. Work on getting out before you get in. So it's not popular, maybe as an exit, as everybody else would get out there. So if you have a really popular exit, where it's obvious, yeah, I'm wrong right here. If it's obvious to you that you're wrong there as a long, then it's probably obvious to a lot of other people. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Subscribe to the channel. Keep yourself well.